Yes, welcome to my kitchen in Ireland. And here in this kitchen this evening, Roger Overall, who will now say hello. Hello. And Paula Mani, who will say hello in a minute. Nelly, hello. Fantastic. We have Nelly from California is here. Let me in. California, coming in from California. Uh, yeah, welcome to the gin tasting, which is, uh, this is about to be, I think, the third round or something of our gin tasting. We've tasted two gins already. And we, yes, let's have a little, little summary. Uh, this is a, a bottle of gin called Boyle's Gin. It's uh, it's distilled in, it says, in West Waterford it's in distilled Ireland. Distilled and bottled in West Waterford. Distilled and bottled. Very important. Yes, yes. Um, and uh, that got nowhere in our tasting, really. And this other one here, which is called Wild Burrow, slow distilled Irish no, gin. You see, this got nowhere, but it did win. <laughs> It won Best Irish Gin at the Irish Whiskey Awards. I'm not sure how that Hello, went. Tashi, hello. Some of these people, this is wonderful. Good evening. Hello. Hello, welcome to the gin taste. Yes. How good to see you and thank you ever so much for coming. Now, I'm going to show you quickly what we have. The, uh, the acoustic that is essential. We have a supply of glasses. We have a knife, clearly needed. We have a place to put. Can I say hi, Raymond? Hi, Raymond. So we have a place to put bits of gin that we haven't drunk. Quickly running through this here. Um, we have lemon, we have lime, we have water. Now, we have absolutely, this is, oh, this is poachers, tonic uh, water. This is made, where did we say this was made? This is made in, is it Wexford or Waterford, Roger? Poachers. Uh, poachers is made in what? Poachers is the bomb, oh, right. Is the, uh, the bomb. Where is it made? I don't know. I okay. know uh, it is made in... Here we have... Wexford. Oh, it's made in Wexford, right. Here we have Swepps tonic water. And just to complete the tonic waters, we have a large bottle. Hello, Atlanta, Georgia, hello. We have a large bottle of Fever Tree. Um, uh, Louis is asleep in the corner. He's been to the dentist today, and I think it was quite a big thing. Now, look, several of you must know, may know your gins. We are going to be tasting Brockman's. Brockman's. We're going to be tasting this. You can take all your screenshots. You like Bacardi. Oh, right. I haven't had Bacardi gin. Roger, have you had Bacardi gin? I didn't know they made gin. Oh, right. <laughs> And don't know here is um, Martin Miller. That's on the agenda for this evening. Although this one has done well in the uh, last 16 and it's got through to the last eight already. Uh, what else? Is that, are they the ones we have? Uh, what have we got? We've, we've got Brockman's and Martin Miller. So standby. We've got East London. Don't, don't know why that's on the table. But, uh, okay, so we have a really big one. Do you keep it in the freezer? Well, kind of yes, but no. You know what I mean? I should have had it in the freezer, but I didn't. So, where are we going next, Roger? Uh, we're going to Brockman's, are we? I think so. Right, will you please... What do we do? Are we doing just a, a neat tasting? What we're doing, yes, we, we do neat tasting. Now, we drink the gin, by the way, while we're tasting it. We use egg cups. Did we ever do a whiskey tasting? No, we haven't done a whiskey tasting. We haven't yet worked our way through all the gins. Like, we have quite a few more gins to go, but I promise you that when we've tasted all the gins in the world and come up with the... Uh, the yeah, we'll move on to whiskey. Promise you that. So this is a Dutch um, English. This is oh, a that's Dutch uh, egg that's cup, what we're about the right? Gym. Egg cup, a Dutch egg cup. Yeah. So we will be drinking out of Dutch egg cup. Uh, we will also be um... we'll also be drinking uh, out of this little cup. Will you rub Roger's hair after a few tastes, please? Said Globe. Choppers. 
from my head. Will I ring? Oh, I don't know. I've never done that. I, I, I'll give that due consideration, I promise you. For, for uh, good this luck, is a, just, um... I'm not sure why. I can't remember. Uh, this here... Oh yeah, this is how you open a gin bottle. If it's not how you open you get, a gin bottle. You get a knife. <laughs> this is how you open a gin bottle when the is... when the opening mechanism didn't work for you. All oh, right, okay. So we are going to drink uh, gin out of a badger's cup too. And what else do we have convenient? We got any others? Oh, well, you have. Oh the, yes, uh, yes. Yeah, here, can we please have this one? That one. Yeah, this this egg cup. What's this one? It's a pheasant. Uh, yeah, is it we, a pheasant or is yeah, it a... there's a strong, uh, there's a lot of um, money backing the idea that, uh, Whoa. oh, excuse me, who's this person? Mark, uh, please withdraw that remark. That's extremely bad manners. You're probably a bot. You should be really ashamed of yourself. And if your mother and father knew what you had said and how inappropriate your language were, they would have felt that they hadn't done a good job. Is this the same person who said I should get a kick in the teeth? No, no, no. This is a silly child, probably about 13 years of age, who now decides to say free speech. You have bad manners. The next time you say anything, unless I think it's good manners, um, I will I will get rid of you, I'm afraid. You, you have disgraced yourself. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Uh, right, where are we, Roger? Right, well, well, um, this is the Brockman's. To... Yes. And it smells unlike any other gin I have ever... Excuse me, I've got to show his face now. <laughs> Can we show this man? This man is about to... Go ahead. That smells like unlike anything. That, sm that smells more like a slow gin than a regular gin. Mmm. Right, I think we're in for a little dash of the uh, the slow uh, the slow gin movement. So this is slow gin. Now the other one, we already had a gin, which was slow distilled. Well, but now I, this, you have this the... is not slow. This is not S L O E gin, is it? Uh, just one second. This silly child is going to disappear. Right, I will not tolerate bad manners. I'm all in favour of freedom of speech, but not unlimited freedom of speech. People are really going on about your hair, Roger. That hair, like Simon. <laughs> yes. What is a slow gin? Now, here you have uh, okay, an so inquiry yeah. from somebody called Robert Neal, 14. I, I do think he's likely to be older than 14. Slow gin is, what a, is, slow gin? is a liqueur made from regular gin and berries, slow berries. So... They, how long it takes, I don't know, but it... Why do you call it a, a liqueur? Because it is a liqueur. Really? Yeah. My brother makes slow gin by uh, getting uh, alcohol, some very crude kind of alcohol. Well, it has to be gin, otherwise it's okay. not... Okay, okay, it's, not it's very gin. crude, it's probably cork uh, uh, dry gin, mm -hmm. and he puts uh, slow berries into mm -hmm. it and leaves it there for several months, yes. and then it comes out as slow gin. Yeah. Is that the sugar from the, the, the slow? I don't, slow I don't know. I, I had some no. from um, uh, the Bertha's Revenge people and I loved it. I loved it. But it Hello. Is, How do you do? It is clearly a liquid. It smells to me like a slow gin. Is it that? The smell. Okay. Smell it. Excuse me. I'm now being urged to smell a bottle. No, no, no. The, the... Oh, the, oh, in the top. Oh, oh yes, it is. But it's pure, but it's pure uh, bl blackcurrant juice. It is. That smells. That's very different. This is blackcurrant juice. You love slow gin. You're a new convert to a to a gin distillery in Manchester called Thomas Dakin. Come to Ireland, please. Join us in the kitchen. Bring a bottle of Thomas Dakin, and you can come on the scope. This is going to be, this is going I'm to be see interesting what comes, what comes now. Out of this in a second now. I'm going to try and do something, Roger. I'm going to put this in here. Right. Yeah. Okay, so Is I this able, to... we are able to see what's going on. Okay, here it comes. Okay. What colour? You make me want to try gin, says P-H-A-T-H head. This makes me want to try slow gin. 
Well, and can... they just started distributing it in Cork. Oh, to be in the kitchen with us. Anyway, look. Okay, can you what please colour is it? what colour is going to come out of here? What colour? Black currant juice. Okay, so it should come out transparent, but we're both convinced. No, this is to... definitely going to be black juice. Right, this is, this is not gin. Oh, oh, oh! It's lost its colour. <laughs> it's just lost its colour. That is ridiculous. This is stuff that absolutely. Now we have um, we've got a particular way of uh, of of of, of tasting uh, gin. Now we we put our method is that we put some neat gin in here. Now. What I have been doing this evening is adding a tiny white currants. Hey, we've had a suggestion. White currants. White currants. I think, you know what? I think you have something. I'm adding a tiny drop. Two. Two dribbles of water into this gin. Because I had a conversation this afternoon with... So, so here it is. This is the gin being drunk from the tail of a fox. Right? This is Brockman's gin. I'm drinking made from, where? I'm drinking from the beak of a partridge. Um, sorry, pheasant. This is made in England somewhere. Oh, right. In London. So this is English gin. This is distilled and bottled in London. Oh, right. 40 Queen Anne Street in London in oh. West One. No right, okay. Anyway, here we go. I, I'm going to taste this stuff now and give uh, give a... Excuse me now. I'm, I'm, see, this is the tasting for Brockman's, okay? Your favourite is Thomas Dakin, D-A-K-I-N. That's the... Over ice with orange peel and fever tree tonic. Well, imagine there's a lot of citrus there. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. This is it. Down the hatch. Mm. I love it. I have to say I just love it. It is so different. It is so distinctive. It, it is the Agreed. kind of drink that Agreed. you would love to have in your cupboard. It is totally unlike either of the other two we had this evening. It is sweet. It definitely is uh, blackcurrant. It has to be. It's, it's blackcurrant. Interestingly. Do they say what's in it? No. So all the other ones make a big hoo-ha about what's in there. Of course you can see the bottle. Of course you can. Let's just show it to you here now. Um, let's see if we can get the full uh, range of it. What does it say down here? It says infused yeah. with exquisite botanicals. Yeah, well, that that could mean anything, wouldn't it? And that, it's distilled from our, this is a grain. Do do anything. Does mm. this have any juniper in it? It doesn't. Can you turn the back? It doesn't say any it ingredient. It doesn't say anything. So right. all the other ones make a big fuss any about. Blend of okay, so it's got nothing in, in there. Oh. But I tell you what, even it's though got berries. It's, got, it's, it's got something in it, that, but, 